In a previous video, I featured scripts for creating uh, outlines that you could put LED neon into, and it made various shapes. It made the circles, the triangles, and the squares, and they were all fairly simple objects. In the case of the circle, it was just like a series of circles. The triangle, it was a hull around three circles. The square, it was a hull around four circles. But the star eluded me. But now we have the star, and it's courtesy of other contributors who I will uh, mention down below in the description, and I'll also put uh, links to the scripts, quite complex scripts. I'm not just going to put it in the description as a raw script. It's going to be a link. But in the meantime, let's explore this star. One moment, please, while I clear the table. The table is cleared, revealing just the star of the show, which is a star. So let's explore how this is actually made. So this star device uses LED flex or LED neon. It did lots of different names, but it's a 12 volt strip. You get mains voltage stuff as well, but the 12 volt is much more versatile because it can be cut every inch roughly. And that lets you fine tune the size of the frame so the ends butt up nice and tightly. I was actually struggling to see where they are. There, there's the join there and there's the join here. Now I've included uh, some links to the scripts, including the one for this. And when you look at that script, you will see there are some variables. I shall just zoom in this. It's a picture of a screen that's uh, going to get me flack as usual, but that's okay. Uh, I can point it much easier than rather than wave a cursor about. If you download the NeoStar script, you will have variables like neon width. Neon width in millimeters is the thickness of this. If you use a set of calipers or some other device, you'll be able to actually just close it on this and it gives you the dimension. Neon thickness. Keep in mind these were prototype scripts. It's better looking at the description here. It's the track depth. Uh, that is how deep this track is and basically how deep into that the neon will sit. The taller you make it, the taller the star is. It's entirely up to you. It's experimental, but six millimeters is pretty good. Minimum bend radius is the minimum bend here because it's quite good to be able to just gently flex the neon round. I do have another video, uh, which I'll link to, which shows how to actually prepare this neon material and put it into it. Uh, then we have the star size. We've got the point five. That's a five pointed star. Uh, it will work for three pointed star four-pointed star, seven-pointed star, whatever you want. As it goes bigger, it will tend to just get a bit sort of ripply. All distinctive shapes. The classic one, though, is five points, the star. And then you've got major diameter, which is the outer diameter, and you've got minor diameter, which is the inner diameter. Experiment, play, adjust, look for the what you actually want to achieve. When you actually lay, lay the material in, you'll probably have to print a few of these off experimentally. Then... You want to tune it so that the material on a nice decisive cut, because you can only cut it every inch, if you cut it between these little tiny black lines here that you see on it, uh, then you'll end up with that dark section. So you want to round it off to the nearest sort of inch, and you may have to experiment and print off several to do that. I shall just zoom back out again, because this is kind of too close. I'll put the calipers out the way. When you terminate this, I would recommend, as in the other video, making an incision in the uh, side of it and then terminating the wires into that so that the wires come off in the middle of the neon. In this case, they're coming off right here. And try and aim to get it into the mid, uh, midline of a straight line. Don't do it on a curve because that makes it quite difficult. Likewise, this is a juggling act because the two ends, you also want to come in the middle of a straight line because if you put them in a curve, just by the nature of it, when it curves around, it will look kind of like that instead of actually, uh, it won't be so easy to mate together in a neat style as putting it on a straight line when it, uh, where it butts up better. Is there much else to say? There's not much else to say. There will be links down below because I have to say this was beyond my ability in OpenSCAD because it was very mathematical. If you take a look at the scripts, you'll see they're quite complex. It's complicated greatly by the fact these are curved objects that are linking together. So it used quite complex mathematics to actually generate that. So it was 
Something that when I mentioned it in a live stream, uh, then the mathematicians stepped in and they created what I was trying to achieve. So down below is the link to the uh, Neostar script, plus I shall put links to others that were sent in. I've not tested those yet, uh, but I'll link to them anyway because each one may have its own merits and is well worth exploring just to see how it was achieved in the script. But that is it. Uh, you can create little stars that get kind of round and squishy or the bigger stars which get more detailed um, and uh, the size of star just depends on what size the build plate is of your printer. Mine's a round one because the FL Sun Q5 is what I'm using at the moment and this was about the biggest star I could fit in before it was just starting to nudge the limits. But there we go, it's very neat. It looks very very good. I'm just going to turn the light off Take exposure off, and this is going to swamp out completely. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, but it achieves nice results. And I know I normally say I don't really like cold white, but in this instance, the cold white actually suits the star because, well, it's a star. So that is it. How to make the LED neon stars to match the rest of the shapes. Well, I say stars and wobbly outlines, if you wish, because the scripts are very versatile. It's a good result. Looks great.